Good afternoon. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you to Phi and to our friends at Beyond Limits for inviting me to participate in this amazing uh, conference on the topic of AI in the Arab world. Uh, G42 is a company based in Abu Dhabi, and we are a holding company uh, who manages a group of uh, operating companies in different disciplines of uh, AI practice. Uh, in addition to AI research, we have an AI company today doing work in the energy sector, similar to what Beyond Limits is doing today. And also we have a company focused on healthcare, another company focused on smart government. The mission of G42, first and foremost, is to help the government of UAE to deliver on its long-term AI vision, the AI agenda for the next several decades. And uh, today I wanna speak a few words about the journey on AI uh, in the UAE. So UAE didn't start this journey of AI all on its own. Uh, we're learning a lot from other countries. In fact, Singapore is a great example we emulated early on. Back in the 1990s and early 2000s, you all know Singapore is leading in the world stage for smart city development. Singapore introduced many automation uh, techniques to improve government functions across the board, smart government approach. But back then, a few things were missing. As much as Singapore was developing, it was not fast enough and broad enough to cover the entire society. Specifically, not every aspect of society was digitized. There was a lack of data. And second, computing resources were still very, very expensive. Cloud computing was not common. And finally, the science of AI was not sufficiently advanced. Now, those three things changed since then. Over the past decade, we've seen explosion of data as more and more industries, sectors, and government functions are becoming digitized, we see so much more data coming into our data warehouses that the old techniques were no longer sufficient to be able to process and make sense of the data. And second, cloud computing became so much more affordable. Now we have cloud computing everywhere around the globe. We are a startup can easily jumpstart its business without buying a single server on-premise. Finally, there's been a quite uh, rev revolution in the research field of AI, specifically in deep learning. So when we combine these three things, the data, the compute, and AI science development, we discovered that there's a new way, new model of bringing intelligence into our society. That's when UAE, a few years ago, decided to launch the first Ministry of AI, back in 2017. We believe AI is so central to our future development, we must put this in the center of government agenda. We look at data as the food, compute as a muscle, and AI science as a brain to bring this new generation of intelligence to our society. So we're going from being smart to being cognitive. Going from traditional decision-making based on decision tree to be able to predict the future in the unknown. So today, let me share with you a couple examples of the UAE AI journey at the national level. First is on the topic of computer vision. Many of you here know AI pretty well. You know computer vision is a central topic in the study of AI. Computer vision teaches machine, computer cameras, to actually understand visually what's going on around us, like how human brain can process it. So in Abu Dhabi today, there are over 100,000 cameras. A few years ago, they were completely not connected. They were in the control of different agencies. So for example, if there was a traffic accident in a street corner somewhere in the uh, city of uh, Abu Dhabi. Over several different agencies have to come together to figure out what really happened. 
The camera at the traffic light belong to one agency. The camera leading the traffic light on the street belong to another agency, so on and so forth. So to investigate public safety issues like car accidents, it took a very long time and multiple agencies, a lot of wasted time and resources. After we connected all the cameras together and putting everything onto a common video cloud platform using computer vision, we were able to streamline the entire system and provide unified intelligence to public safety sector. Today in the UAE, all these camera systems are connected, talking to each other on a single computer vision network. Not only does it provide safety, it also provides convenience. Some people say, oh my gosh, this is Big Brother watching us. It's very dangerous. This is going to eventually intrude on our privacy. Well, in the UAE, we believe in the future of a happy society. What is happiness? Well, happiness starts with safety. It also starts with living in a stress-free society. Now, I believe everybody here carries one of these smartphone devices. I call this a wireless leash. If you carry that, I can promise you you're pretty stressed out. All the messages and alerts constantly coming into your consciousness. We believe in the UAE one day you can walk on the street, walk out of your house without carrying this device. Using your face, you can buy something, getting a taxi, going to a hotel, eating in a restaurant, go to the beach, without ever having to reach for your phone or your wallet. Now, that's the real power of computer vision, to give you that stress-free experience. That's one step towards happiness. So, second example beyond uh, computer vision I want to share with you in the UAE in the use of AI is our national healthcare program. In the UAE, we believe healthcare is a birthright. It's a birthright, not something that you should have to pay to stay healthy. Today, globally, we don't see really healthcare. We see what I call sick care. You only seek care when you actually are sick, you're going to the hospital. It's a heavy burden on you and a heavy burden on the society. In the UAE, we believe we need to proactively monitor and produce results for you to stay healthy. That's why we start by digitizing everything we can about our human body. Very soon, UAE will be launching an amazing program on a national level. It's a national genome program. We plan to do WGS whole genome sequencing of every single person in the country. Every single person in the country as a birthright. So what does that mean? So genome sequencing, you probably understand this from reading different journals. About a decade ago, the cost was about $2 billion to sequence human genome. Then five, Six years ago, $20,000, $30,000. Today, it's under $1,000. We can sequence the entire genome of our body. When we do WGS for a single adult, the data produced is anywhere between 100 to 200 gigabytes. Now, add this up to the whole population. By the way, you is roughly the same size population as Jordan. That's hundreds of petabytes of data. Traditionally, using the old techniques, it's impossible to analyze all this information. Impossible, not doable. But with cloud, with AI, for the first time, we can actually derive meaningful intelligence from mass population genome information. We will be able to see, predict diseases 10 years 20 years in advance for the entire population will bring precision medicine to every single person in the society. This is the power of AI, from public safety, commerce convenience, all the way to promoting 
true health care, not the after the fact sick care. Now the examples I'm giving to you today is what I call artificial narrow intelligence. We are getting really, really good in certain fields of artificial intelligence. They are either focused on computer vision or signal processing. But the real future of AI, I believe, and by the way, my friend AJ here shares the same belief, is in something we call general intelligence, also known as AGI, artificial general intelligence. Just like us right now sitting together in this room, we're communicating, we're talking, hearing, thinking at the same time. We are generally communicating, understanding each other. We believe one day machines can have this intelligence as well. It will be able to go beyond just seeing something or listening to something, but able to bring everything together holistically and provide additional intelligence, thinking like real humans, and eventually maybe even go beyond that into ASI, into super intelligence. Now we are still far from that. AGI probably is another 10 plus years away, maybe longer. ASI maybe 50 years away. But we believe with sufficient human resources devoted to scientific research, we'll get there much faster. This is why recently, just about two weeks ago, in Abu Dhabi, we launched the first ever graduate level Research AI University, I'm busy University of Artificial Intelligence, named after His Highness Mohammed bin Zayed. This university will devote itself to the fundamental research of AI in multiple disciplines at the master's and PhD level. We believe when you look at the data, which what I said earlier is the food to AI, the computing power, the muscle of AI, and the brain power, the people who are actually inventing AI theories and science, the brain power is by far the most important element to the long-term success of AI. The human resources are the most important factor. I was telling our host earlier at five, when I was walking by the, uh, the conference uh, hallway, I saw the, uh, the tagline of five, which is to accelerate human potential. That's exactly right. As much as we seek artificial intelligence, human intelligence is the key today. We must invest in humans in order to achieve the AGI and AISI vision of the future. I was very impressed being here today, learning so much about the great country of Jordan and the amazing people who are here. I was especially impressed that there are so many young people, talented, who are learning about science, math, engineering, and they are bringing so much excitement into this field. And I would like to join my colleagues from Beyond Limits and offer this amazing talent pool here in Jordan to work together, to join hands with us, work on amazing industrial AI use cases from public safety, healthcare to energy sectors, but also let's join forces to learn together there is amazing university here, focused on undergrad level uh, AI and data science uh, studies. Join us at MBZ University for AI for graduate studies. I see so much synergy in the Arab world to come together, develop next generation AI capabilities for the entire world. With that, thank you so much. I look forward to communicating with you one-on-one -on, -one on additional topics. Thank you.